Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. My name's Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Today's video I'm going to be uh, talking about the um, eighth house for you and the eighth house is about uh, shared resources, uh, the occult, uh, anything to do with detective work or um, you know investments, things that you might be spending money on that you want to see a return on investment. Okay. So Scorpio energy is also loves money, but it also loves, um, you know, it's privacy. So you also might be feeling um, more private than usual uh, this month, Libra. Um, so if you don't feel like sharing, you don't have to share. I think this is a, a bit of a reclusive kind of time for you as well. I've just been saging the cards. Um, and for this set of readings, I'm going to be using the pictorial key. This is an oldie but a goodie. Um, but before we do that as well, I just want to talk about the moon, the major moon cycles this month as well for the month of Taurus or the season of Taurus. We have a new moon on the 8th of May and new moons in Taurus are um, about prosperity, abundance um, in terms of finances and um, wealth. So... Taurus is an earth sign. It's, you know, about health and wealth generally, um, it, food, uh, the throat, uh, being able to sort of, you know, communicate what you are wanting out of life um, and, you know, getting in touch with uh, the senses because uh, Taurus energy is about sensory pleasure. It's like, you know, good food, good wine, nice sheets, nothing cheap. Um, they like luxury. They like, you know, the good life. So Libra, if you're feeling um, like you just, again, feel like, um, you know, just keeping things on the down low this month, that could be um, definitely a vibe for you. On the 23rd of May, we have a full moon in Sagittarius and the full moon are about release. Uh, Sagittarius is about freedom. So you might be releasing something in your life that's been holding you back um, to provide you with more freedom. Okay. Uh, the freedom to travel, the freedom, the freedom of, of speech, freedom of, um, you know, um, beliefs, what your beliefs are. You know, your wonder of the world is what makes you unique. And the way that you view the world through your lens is your perspective. So, you know, Libra likes to be harmonious and keep the peace and likes to be hashtag Judge Judy from time to time. But I feel at the moment this is also something that you might be looking into in terms of, I guess, yeah, it's just a bit more detective work if you need to find out more information about something before you release it um, or before you, you know, move forward in that in that full moon energy. Um, for some of you as well, Libra, it could be also um, anything to do with legal matters. So you might also be going through some court stuff at the moment uh, as well. You know, that's also scorpionic. Um, but let me know in the comments what uh, resonates with you. If you don't want to leave a comment, uh, reach out. You might want to a private reading uh, to expand on any messages that come through today. If you want to do so, check out my website below, newangeltarot.com. And at the end of the video, or even right now, if you're getting value, please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel a lot. And um, I'd appreciate that. So let's get into your readings, uh, Libra, and see what comes through for you today in the tarot. Angel spirits, guides, angel spirits, guides. What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know? Thank you, spirit. What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know? No, too many. Just one card to get started. Again, too many. Angel spirits, guides. What does Libra need to know? get there I usually just like one card to jump out and that's how I like to start the reading here we go right so the center of your reading you have the king of pentacles now this is Capricorn energy so the eighth house as well is also shared resources so you might also Libra be having to um, you know 
team up with other people in order to get something across the line. Um, and that also could include, you know, uh, going into joint ventures, joint financial ventures with other people um, and pooling your money together to create something um, that you can both get a return on investment for. Capricorn energy at the center of the reading as well is also about like anything of high value in terms of maybe a mortgage or an, inher an inherited property portfolio of something, um, but also can circle around your career. So Capricorn energy is usually like, you know, a manager or someone here who's got a, a top job, not so much even a manager, more CEO actually. So if you're running your own business right now, this also could be a focus for you. In your crowning position, you have the Two of Cups, okay? So Libra loves the love card. Um, it's about connecting with the right people as well, having the same level of emotional intelligence when you're um, collaborating or, as I said, joining forces in a, in a joint venture. It feels like the shared resource aspect of Scorpio is already starting to come through here. So I think that's probably the theme of, of how this is going to happen. Uh, yeah, and so now you have uh, Mars in Leo. And Mars in Leo is very much creating those boundaries, you know, making sure that both parties are aware of um, the situation. Both parties are aware of what the boundaries are. Um, because if that is not clear, it could go pear-shaped. But the center of the reading here feels like um, it, it's a Capricorn energy, as I said, and in the crowning position you have that Two of Cups, so there could be something here regarding a Capricorn, um, you know, that you've got a, a love interest with or you're married to, and then in that foundation here, there's something here that needs to create, um, you know, some healthy boundaries. In the past, um, you have the Hermit. So in the past, you may have also found yourself feeling like a hermit, you know, looking at all the inner work that you've done, all the, you know, internal sort of searching that you've been doing over the years um, and working on the self. There's three words for this card always for me is know thyself. If you know yourself, you can do anything. OK, if you don't trust yourself or you don't back yourself or you can't push yourself, you know, you've got to know your own limits. You've got to know your own, um, you know, potential. I sort of prefer to probably lean into the potential as opposed to limits, because if you then start saying, well, I can't do this, I can't do that, you're already talking in the negative and it's not going to go anywhere. So, you know, put some gratitude in your attitude, push forward and say, I can do this. I'm going to do this. I will do this. And then your volition is going to sort of grow from that. In your immediate future, you have the Six of Pentacles. This is give and take in a relationship. This is also like, you know, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Um, it can also indicate like restoring order and balance when it comes to money. So you might actually have more money coming in this month. It is Taurus season after all. Um, the moon is exalted in Taurus, which also means, you know, anything can sort of have the potential to grow exponentially. So you also might have more money coming through. And as a result, you're able to restore balance with your bills, what's going in, what's going out and, for, and striking uh, the scales here. In the position of uh, Querent, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a golden opportunity. Something here is coming through for you this month, Libra, and it could also be um a job offer um as again an offer to collaborate an offer to to sort of make coin okay so the king of the king of pentacles in the center of your reading as well is also like getting the top job or you know raising the bar in terms of your status or your hierarchy your position whether it be in a community or whatever um, but this is a golden opportunity it's a new beginning okay in your environment and how other people see you, uh, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is about legacy. Um, what is your legacy? What are you known for? Are you known for good? Are you known for bad? <laughs> are you known for, you know, building up a business or, um, again, you know, being able to turn that coin around? Because there's sort of four coin energies already in the reading. You have the King, the Six, the Ace, and now the Ten. The Ten is Mercury in Virgo. So Mercury is is you know, exalted in Virgo. Um, it's where it shines. It's ruled by Virgo um, or it rules Virgo. So the tree of life as well is really important with the Ten of Pentacles card. And it's sort of, again, um, you know, that transcendence from the material world to a more spiritual place, but also being able to grow financially and manifest, um, you know, a legacy for yourself. 
Uh, in the position of attitude, you have the Ten of Swords. Now, again, this is another Ten. So Tens are, for me, are about endings. And it's interesting because the top half of your reading, you have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Swords together. All right. So for many of you, whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising Libra, um, this could be the end of a marriage, end of a relationship. It's done. Okay, but you've got to remember as well, the darkest hour is always before the dawn. So, you know, I always look at the Ten of Swords as the awakening. This is Kundalini energy, the swords in the back of the 33 vertebrae. So it's like a, an awakening, the Christ consciousness. Your outcome card uh, is the death card. So this is really interesting. Um, it's Scorpio full moon today when I'm actually doing this reading. So this is more about... Um, you know, transformation, releasing, uh, letting things go, and also, you know, out with the old and in with the new. Um, so the Scorpio energy here is all about change, okay? Bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Swords. This is about mental health, clarity, truth, victory, um, and the true king. It's, it's sort of, you know, seeing something for what it truly is and figuring out, you know, who is... Who is the true king in your life? Who is king in your life? Let's clarify that um, on the split. And the Ace of Swords is also air, so it's the root of air. You also have uh, the Wheel of Fortune here clarifying. So this is overall. Um, overall, you have clarity, the root of air, and you also have Jupiter energy coming through here with the Wheel of Fortune. So Jupiter is good luck, good fortune, um, again, clarity in a situation, uh, a new beginning. Um, you've gone from a 10 in the attitude here over to an ace in overall. So the 10 of swords going to the ace of swords, which means something's ending and you've got a new reset button here in terms of, again, you know, mental health or clarity and looking at, you know, a victory, opening up your crown. Um, because the crown is not just about, um, you know, a king. It's also about your consciousness, you know, having... 100% clarity and also working on the self. You know, aces for me are singular, so they're also about working on the self. Um, and then with that Jupiter energy coming through, this is karmic energy. Um, so as well, the wheel is turning. Um, you just want to make it obviously turning in the right direction and turning in a way that's going to be of benefit to you. Um, but in your environment, again, that family legacy is there. There's also inheritance here as well. Um, I see some of you might be receiving an inheritance uh, for Taurus season. So this is also like money coming in. There's there's a there's an abundance there. There's something here that you're, you know, you're being given. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this reading, Libra. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if it resonated and it made sense. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. I really want to get to 5,000 uh by June, if I can. Um, so please, uh, if you can, support the channel. And thank you again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out the links below. You can also watch the other videos if your sun, moon and rising is in other videos. Um, have a look at those so you can get a complete picture. So until next time, Libra, thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.